So, uh, Jai Hind, uh, the, my name is Shiva, I work for Times Now. Uh, so, I'm not sure about the statistics. Young people are not willing to join Army, Navy, and Air Force. How do you address this issue? Because uh, addresses shortage of officers in defense forces is a big issue. First about, uh, you know, not finding numbers to join the Army, Navy, and Air Force. When I was appointed the Army Chief, the first thing I stopped was giving advertisements for join the Army. You would have seen that you were seeing advertisements, you know, with a young officer sitting on a tank and saying, this is what I own. You know, a lady with, uh, from the Corps of Signals with the sophisticated equipment and saying, join the service. I stopped it. The reason for that is there is no dearth of people wanting to join the service. Only thing is we have not lowered standards. We have the Services Selection Board. Firstly, you have to come through a UPSC examination or your board examination results, especially if you're coming as a technical entry. And then you have to go through a Services Selection Board. In the Services Selection Board, you are tested by a group testing officer who tests your ability of leadership and your ability to function as a team. You have to be a team man. Then you have a psychologist who tests you on your psychological abilities. These standards we have not lowered. So therefore you will find in the Services Selection Board, for every 30 persons who go there for the selection, normally one or two only pass the test. So there is no dearth of number of people coming for joining the armed forces. Why we are slow in numbers and low in numbers is because we, have, we are trying to change the system from not having everybody in permanent commission. We are trying to encourage a lot of people joining us in the short service commission entry, which means they become a support system. They serve with us for 10 to 14 years, and then they are free to go elsewhere. We will empower them, we will train them for a second career option. Because if you take everybody into permanent commission, then the promotion pyramid, which is already very steep in the service, becomes even more steeper. Talking about the lower ranks, that is for the Javans, oh, it's difficult to manage a recruitment rally. <laughs> if you ever go and see one, you'll understand the number of people who come in for recruitment. So I don't think there is any dearth of people wanting to join the armed forces. It is just that a large number of don't meet the standards of the group testing officers and the psychologists. And that is the reason why we have shortages. But sometimes some of these shortages are being maintained because we are trying to increase the short service entry, which becomes a support service. Thank you.